Hello everybody, I am Mudassir. So here today we will talk about the AES encryption. So AES encryption is of two types. One is 128 bits encryption and other is 256 bits encryption. 256 bits encryption is usually used in the for the military purpose and military data encoding. So it's a pretty strong encryption and uh, most widely used encryption as well. So today we will look how to implement it in Java and what are the various use of this uh, uh, encryption and how can we do it in the Java. So uh, here there is only a small method which will be which I have written for getting the encrypted text. So let me uh, explain this code. So I uh, there are three things, uh, uh, three input parameters. Uh, instead I would say there are four input parameters which are required uh, for the encryption process. One is the key. Basically key is a uh, key I would say uh, is any uh, string or any string which will be used for the encryption process and if the client to which the encrypted text is received doesn't have a key he can't decrypt your text so basically key is used for encryption and the same way it would be used for the decryption process as well so uh, if we uh, if we encrypt a text say t1 with a key then we will get an encrypted text so if we encrypt again the text t1 with a key, key uh, with this key only we will get the same text so the same encryption of a same text with the same key will result in the same encrypted text so to uh, this uh, this has a little security loop because a user can identify or the hacker or the malicious user can ad identify that these are the two same text which has been encrypted and uh, so this information can be leaked out so to prevent this we are using a salt salt is basically a, uh, a random string which is used uh, to change the uh, to change the final encryption string so that if i encrypt a uh, uh, if i encrypt a text for, uh, with a same key but different random salt it will return in a different encrypted text always so we will see it in action uh, in few moments if i will move for, uh, forward uh, I can see that uh, basically I am converting the um, uh, 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 getting the bytes uh, of the uh, initialization vector. What uh, what it is uh, what we call it as uh, we call it as an initialization vector in this uh, term Java term terminology. So we have a key converted into the secret key spec, and similarly uh, to initialize the uh, to initialize the cipher algorithm, we have we provide the algorithm type which uh, to which uh, with which we want to cipher and encrypt the thing uh, the one we are using today is AES uh, the, because a AES is a 128 uh, I just said 128 or 256 uh, bit encoding techno uh, bit encoding technology so AES is bas uh, basically uh, used for 128 bits encoding so if we have a stream of string then we uh, need some uh, chaining uh, ch uh, chaining mode to uh, encode all this uh, stream of strings available also what we do is divide it into the blocks of 128 bits and then start encoding using the AES technology but to change these blocks we use CBC uh, the full form of CBC is cipher block chaining so it basically zor the uh, previous zor uh, the current block with the previous block and thus, uh, uh, thus used to change uh, so that uh, encryption of the current block will depend upon the encryption of the previous block as well Similarly, uh, maybe the last block may not be 128 bits or 256 bit, uh, bits completely. So the, we uh, introduce a padding technology, the simplest of which is uh, filling the 000 in the uh, uh, in the vacant uh, bit space. So we have initialized the cipher uh, uh, cipher algorithm and cipher object here. So uh, what uh, what we have to do is just call a do final method and uh, over the value uh, we want to cipher we want to encode and it will uh, return me the encrypted bytes and just I just uh, converted the encrypted bytes I just converted the encrypted bytes uh, uh, into the string and returned it so let's check this algorithm it in action okay I have run the code uh, let me give uh, my name as I input so I have just given the key and the static initialization vector if I encode uh, Mudasir uh, every time I am getting a same encrypted uh, string 
so a user can identify that it's a same string which is being encoded so what I will do I will create a random salt here so I have just copy pasted a random string generation method here so now uh, in the initialization vector is just a random string not the not the predefined string which I have uh, given earlier so it is uh, at the runtime getting the random string of 16 uh, of 16 bi uh, bytes okay so let me run this program again okay okay so now as you can see every time the uh, mudasir get encrypted it's giving me the new encryption and different encryption key every time so the uh, problem arises is that for the decryption of the same encrypted key now we need three uh, two things one is a key and other is a random salt which we are giving in the uh, as an initialization vector so as a as it is a random salt mostly uh, what the uh, people do is that they return this initialization vector back with the encrypted string so it gives some dynamicness to the dynamicness to the output encrypted string so uh, so if I run the program so now every time I am uh, returning the encrypted dynamic string before the encrypted uh, string I am returning the initialized dynamic initialization vector every time so that's all for today if you have any question please do come uh, put in the comment I will try to uh, reach as soon as possible thanks a lot